A safety accessory typically worn to keep kids safe on Halloween could land them in the doctor's office. At noon, Action News Jack told you calls about glow sticks skyrocket at the Poison Control Center every October. New at 5.30, Action News Jack's Beth Rousseau shows you the other products they're warning parents about. The Poison Control Center says that glow sticks are great and can make your kids more visible in the dark. But they say that the safety accessory can quickly become a hazard. This is Ada Rodriguez's son, Aston, in his first costume of the day. He's a dinosaur today, early for school, and later on we're going to change him to vampire. We caught up with the mom in between her Halloween festivities. Before costume, Rodriguez thinks about ways to keep her four-year-old safe while out trick-or-treating. I don't let him eat the candy. We go home, I make sure I go through the candy and go through everything before he can have him. Doctors at the Poison Control Center tell me calls surge on Halloween, and most of them are about broken glow sticks. That will cause irritation on the inside of their mouth, or if they get it on their skin, it will cause irritation to the skin. And if they get in the eyes, they will cause burning, stinging on the inside of the eyes. Dr. Don Soli says complaints about the mildly toxic safety accessory more than double statewide on this holiday, from 61 calls to 150. They're also warning about irritation from face paints and choking hazards. So these go into like little rings or different jewelry and it will cause the item to glow. But this is a setup for somebody to swallow it. Rodriguez says Aston always has a glow stick in hand, but he knows better than to break it open. Well, he knows not to put it in his mouth. He's four years old. He'll be five. So he knows. He's very aware. If you have issues with glow sticks or anything else, the Poison Control Center says that they have a healthcare professional standing by 24 7. We have the number posted for you at actionnewsjacks.com. Reporting on the South Side, Beth Russo, Action News Jacks.